Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to talk about Donald Trump. Now y'all, I said whenever I come in and talk about Donald Trump, I'm going to do it with a little black girl magic sprinkled on it. And I explained to you in previous videos what I meant by that. So by now you guys have gotten it. But before I start y'all, let me just tell you a couple little things. Ever since I've been doing these videos, you know, giving my opinion about Donald Trump, sisters and brothers, brothers and sisters, y'all would not believe the amount of hate that I get in my comment section. Now, I make it very clear at the beginning of the video, you know, what I mean by black girl magic and brothers and sisters, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's those other folk the white supremacists and the Trump loving fools who have no idea. So I'm going to do something for them this video. I'm going to tell you if you are a Trump lover, you might want to click off now. Because this video is for my brothers and sisters, the ones who think like me, the ones who were interested enough to click on my video because they know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give you a second, Trump lovers, white supremacists, and all of you people that, you know, are not feeling me click off now look up in the right hand corner there is a red x click on that and you will be able to get away from this black girl magic so we're going to give them a second 1001 so they should be gone now they have clicked off and it's just me here now with my brothers and sisters so hello again y'all let's get started i have been watching the news here lately and let me just tell y'all something Several years ago, I used to watch the news, but I never watched it like this. You know, years ago, I was younger. I was raising my kids or, you know, they were they were teenagers. So, you know, you're running all over. You ain't got time to be sitting up watching everything. Now, when I would come in from work or from running them from someplace, I would turn on the news to see, you know, what was going on in the world. But I wasn't as intent on watching it like I am now. Now I'm older. I'm also home on long-term disability. So I don't have anything but time on my hands. So what has happened is what, you know, once was just something I did to catch up on the day's news. Now I'm intent on it. You know, I'm watching it like it's a soap opera because what's going on in the world right now is pretty much like a soap opera. So in the last few days, let me just tell you some of the things that have happened. These Republican congressmen, senators, and all of that, they have the villagers at their offices with torches. These people are madder than the motherfucker about them taking away their health care. Now, I don't know why people are upset. Donald Trump told them when he was running that he was going to repeal and replace Obamacare. Now, they thought that they could get, you know, through with just repealing it with nothing to back it up. And that's where the people are having a problem. Now, I think the people that are showing up at these, you know, uh, offices, these protesters, they probably are the people that did not vote for Donald Trump. Now, I'm pretty sure sprinkled in there, there are some people that did. These people are wondering, what the hell are we going to do if you cut this shit off? And y'all, when I say that they are there with motherfucking torches y'all know back in the day when those old time werewolf movies where the the wolf man would be running in the middle of the night and the villagers was chasing them with torches and shit that's what's going on they got these uh senators and congressmen being escorted out by police because they are afraid that one of these people and this protest is gonna completely lose it and fuck them up because they are telling them this is not what we wanted. They're telling them that the majority of the country was not for this bullshit. And I hope, I hope that these congressmen and senators are, you know, really listening to their constituents because, you know, there is an election coming up in a year or so where, you know, we're going to be voting some of them out. So pay attention. Now, another thing, y'all, and this is the meat of it. It's all this stuff with Russia. Y'all, the other day I was sitting here and I watched one of these cable news network stations go through Donald Trump's administration, the people that he has on there so far, 
and they went one by one and they showed you how each one of these people have some affiliation to Russia. Then they, they did Donald Trump. They talked about an attorney that was um, over in Russia doing um, work for Donald Trump. They talked about how um, Donald Trump said that Russian money was funnel, funneling into the Trump organization and just went you know, every little piece they had, they showed you how that piece led back to Russia, Putin, or oligarchs in Russia. And I had to stop and look up the word oligarch, and I'm going to put the definition down there because y'all, I didn't know what it was either. But how Trump has gotten with millionaires and billionaires over in Russia and done business with them. Now, you know, we got Donald Trump on television every day saying he don't know Putin, he ain't got nothing to do with Russia, and this, that, and the third. He lying, y'all. He's lying. And I don't know why these Trump supporters will not just admit that they got duped, that this man pulled a fast one on them. Because, y'all, not only was he, you know, the, not only was the, were the Russians meddling in our election, but Donald Trump has direct ties to them. Now, when I was watching the news, they likened what's going on now to what happened in the Nixon administration and his impeachment. Now, when Nixon was president, y'all, I was a little kid. I don't know nothing about that. So what I had to do is, because I'm trying to understand what they're saying, I had to go back and look up or read about a little bit, you know, a little brief history of what went on with Nixon and Watergate and all of that stuff so I can understand. What I what I see, y'all, is our intelligence agencies, kudos to them, they are investigating this. And I think some of their investigations and what they're finding out, they're not telling the White House. They are afraid that some of the stuff that they would tell of Donald Trump and some people in his administration may get back to Russia. Their job is to serve not only the president, but to protect and serve the American people. So whether they like Trump or not, they are doing their job. So we got to give them kudos for that. Now, this thing that they're, that they're doing, it's like they're finding little bits of information all over everywhere and they're they're following that information and to see where it leads to and it's all leading to russia and they keep coming back with why why um are all these people that are that are you know in donald trump's administration has some ties what is it that putin has on Donald Trump. Y'all, this is bigger than what we think it is. And here's why I say that. Right now, we may not understand what all these bits and pieces of information that our intelligence agencies are finding, what it all means. But in time, once they get all these pieces of the puzzle and they put it together, just like with Nixon, we're going to know the full story. Y'all, a lot of people said that they don't believe that Donald Trump is going to make it four years. The more I listen to this stuff every night, y'all, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if he's going to make it a year. Now, let's just say he makes it a year. I think they're going to impeach the shit out of him. But y'all, one thing about it, Pence, that vice president, is even worse than Donald Trump. From what I'm hearing, he is like one of these um, people that are, what, what do they call those people when they are really, they have these ideological Christian values and and you know that they're they're just fanatics that that's what the way I'll put it I think that we may get rid of Trump and we may get something worse now I also watched this show that said that maybe that's what the plan was that you know they get Trump in you know through his um popularity you know he win the nomination and all of that because they knew because of the way that pence the vice president was that he couldn't run as president because nobody would have voted for him but they knew with donald trump it might be 
a chance. So they run Donald Trump as the president and Pence as the vice president. And then once Trump gets impeached, then they get the man that they want. Y'all, it's all kind of speculation and cloud over this 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 presidency is so much crazy stuff going on and i know that i seem a little you know amped up when i talk about this is because the more that i find out the more that i i should say the more that i learn and the more that i understand we in bad shape y'all we are in worse shape than what we think we are is more to this than Donald Trump just being a psychopath and, you know, crazy and a racist and all that. Then, y'all, this guy, Steve Bannon, you know, the one that Donald Trump let sit in on all kinds of classified information and, you know, meetings that they're having. Y'all, he is bad news. When they talk about him, they talk about him like... He is a puppet master, which is just so crazy that Donald Trump is being used by all these people and he's too stupid to realize it. Or either, you know, they're all in cahoots together. I don't know what it is, but y'all, this stuff is crazy. And I'm going to tell you something, like a good story, I'm going to follow this because like I said, like I tell my kids, you know, in the end, we will know the truth. You know, in all of these scandals that have happened with presidents and, you know, uh, different administrations, we eventually find out, look at when Bill Clinton was messing around with Monica Lewinsky, child, by the time they got finished, we had the dress with the stain and everything on it. Y'all, y'all know they find out everything. And another thing that I think is happening, and I said this in another video, let me calm my little ass down, but. You know how Donald Trump talked about our intelligence uh, agencies when he was campaigning? I think they're out to get him. You had a couple people here lately in intelligence agency. I think they were in the CIA. Well, one guy was in the CIA. He quit and he basically said he just couldn't work for Donald Trump. That because he is a person that's tasked with collecting information you know, intelligence to give to the president, you know, so the president can be briefed on what's going on in the world. And he doesn't believe that Donald Trump will even listen to him. He said, then why bother? I'm just going to quit. And then something else. Do y'all know that Donald Trump does not get his daily presidential briefing? I think it's been maybe a week or so, maybe even longer since he had one. Do y'all know that's why he's up saying that there were terrorist attacks in Sweden and all that shit? He doesn't know what's going on. I think we probably know more than he does. And y'all know um, how much of this we understand. We learn it every day. He learned it with us, a simple bastard. I just know that what's going on now is... Um, is a lot bigger than him just being a racist because we all know that he is. Did you see that phony um, visit to the African American Muse um, History Museum in Washington? He did that because Omarosa told him it's a good look. Did you see her ass there? Did you see at the end when they were taking pictures and you know she booked it, put it on his schedule, but she wasn't even good enough to be in the pictures? Basically, it looked like he shooed her out the way. It was like, go stand over there. We're about to take pictures. She was around the corner in the shadows somewhere for her to be this big thing at the White House, you know. And another thing, um, you know, when I did that video on Omarosa, people were coming at me all kinds of ways, sideways and everything. When we said that she was cooning for Donald Trump, they said that we as black people, that's the only, um, uh, word that we know coon and and you know just saying all kinds of crazy shit 
like I said, this video is for brothers and sisters, and we know what we mean when we say coon. It doesn't matter what other people think. This is our language to each other. Just like I said, they have cold words when they're talking about us. We have cold words when we're describing what a black person who's kissing a white man's ass is. She is a coon and ass bed wench, if you want to know honestly what I feel about the bitch and they they said that we were jealous and you know because she was intelligent we're not jealous we celebrate that you know but what we are saying is why are you working for someone who is so against your people you know he said once again y'all that all of us live in ghettos and that we dodging bullets daily and and all of that stuff you know that we we can't even walk up down the street every one of us you know what i asked how big are these ghettos that we all supposed to live in they got to be really huge if every black person in the united states lives in them Y'all, it's got to be really huge. It's got to spill into suburbs and everything if all of us live in ghettos. He knows nothing about the black community. And that thing that he did yesterday when he went to the African American Museum, y'all, I just show you I'm a hateful little woman. I was like, I, I hope the spirit of our ancestors are jabbing him in his ass every step of the way. You know, because it was almost sacrilegious for him to be walking through that museum because like they said, he wasn't feeling it, you know? The the guy was trying to explain, the guy that was giving him a tour, sweet little old black man, trying to explain, you know, the significance of different artifacts. Donald Trump was just nodding his head. He was thinking, you know what, how much longer do I got to be here and pretend like I'm interested? That man was not a bit more interested in, in what he was seeing than God only knows. I tell you this, you know, he's sitting up... um you know, he wouldn't speak up for the Jewish people and all that stuff. And, you know, they're out here toppling over their grave stones and stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you, you got to be a really, really rotten motherfucker to go to a cemetery and tear up hundreds or, if not hundreds, dozens and dozens of headstones. You, you tearing up grave sites and then threatening to bomb synagogues and and all of that burning up churches and stuff you know what i'm gonna tell you it is some criminals out here it's some thugs that that that, that, that are out here that wouldn't do that you know there's a certain point you know when you're about to burn down a church is there a moment that you stop and say "Ooh, you know what this is a church oh one day i'm gonna pay for this you know or you're desecrating someone's final resting place i mean y'all what kind of people what what kind of country do we live in and you know something else america sits up and talks about other countries and always got their nose stuck in some other country's business telling them how not to treat their people and how they should act and what they should do but you know what we got a lot of shit going on in our country right now and the eyes of the world are on us we got a buffoon as a fucking president you got people going to other countries on official business for our country that are now having to answer questions like is your president for real you know what is going on in america should we listen to you or should we listen to the president that's embarrassing than a motherfucker and then let's talk about barack obama you remember when barack obama was coming in and you know they, those people were saying that he was going to take their guns and there were going to be death panels and that the stock market was going to crash and the job market was going to do this and all that you know what none of that shit happened they still got their damn guns the you know everything the economy is better than it was when he came in you know they can't numbers don't lie and what i will say about barack obama history let me say that again history will record what he did and didn't do you know it's going to take a few years for the good things that barack obama did to really come out in the wash because they spent eight years slamming this man 
But I tell you this, I'd go back to him in a second because I think that what we're in for with all this Russian involvement, because one thing, y'all, Putin don't play. Putin like an old pimp, y'all. He killing motherfuckers, poison them. He don't even care. Do you know that it was a, a spy or something or a Russian reporter that leaked all that information about Donald Trump's PP tape and all that? You know that motherfucker is dead? Do y'all know that, that there are reporters or um, intelligence people? I don't know who, what they call them in Russia, but they're, some of them are missing or like they will be somewhere eating dinner. Then all of a sudden someone will rush in and take them out and then they're never seen again. They are like killing off people that have reported stuff on Donald Trump. Why, y'all? What is the connection? What what is the ultimate plan? What does Putin and Donald Trump's administration got in store for America? And then y'all another thing. Look at the people that he's putting in office. Let's just talk about that lady DeVos. I can't think of the bitch's first name. I can't think of her first name, but she's the head of education or something. The one that doesn't believe in public schools. You know, she went to that school and they barred her access. They would not let that bitch in. Them people formed a human chain and prevented that hole from coming in. And you know what? She is, um, just lambasted in public schools. She went to one school, visited them, and then a few days went on to talk about those teachers and how they weren't dedicated. And see, that pisses me off because, you know, we got some good teachers out here. You know, we got bad ones, but these teachers are trying with limited funds. Teachers are buying their own supplies to try to make up for what some kids um, don't have. You know, that broad is going to tear up you know, our public education system. You even got the guy that he uh, put in for the EPA. This guy has sued the EPA 17 times and currently has suits against the EPA. Actually, he does not believe in the EPA. So why would you put him, you know, in charge of it? Is he trying to like dismantle our government? And if so, y'all, the question is why? Is is he so into, and I'm talking about Donald Trump right now, is he so caught up with Putin and Russia and they there's this master plan or something? I don't know what it is, but I think these Trump supporters need to wake up, y'all. It's more than health care going on. It's more than him being a racist. There is something bigger that's going on that we just don't have all the pieces of the puzzle yet but like i said in earlier in the video thank god for our intelligence agencies because i think what they're doing undercover is they're scratching they're searching because they don't have a good feeling about donald trump they don't trust him you know it's sad y'all think about what i just said it is sad when the intelligence agencies who are supposed to be there for the president, don't trust him. They, they said that some of these agents, which is against the law, because, you know, if it's found out that, you know, they find information and they withheld it from the president, you know, that's breaking the law. And, you know, it, it, they can have all kind of repercussions. But they said that if they don't tell the president that information, that they could get in trouble. It's sad that they feel that they can't tell him. Think about that, y'all. This is really, really crazy. You know, I wish my grandfather was alive now because my grandfather had a way of, he could watch the news and, you know, you could sit down and have a conversation with him and he could really, really explain it, you know, to you where you completely understood and, you know, look at the different things that are going on and make you question certain things this is a time when you need older folks around you who have lived a lot of life and they're looking at what's going on and they're telling you you know this has never happened you know now we had something similar but if it's this is happening you know then you need to pay attention to this that and the other i watch um 
Rachel Maddow. I watch a CNN because you got to take a lot of what they tell you and kind of piece together the story or, or what's going on yourself. And you got to do your own research. But y'all, I think we're in trouble. And I'm not saying that to be, um, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to make this a really good video where you'll, uh, you know, stay on and listen. I really, really think that this Russia stuff, forget those Trump voters. Think about what I'm saying, y'all. They are saying, well, we won. Y'all just need to get used to it. But I think in the end, when all of this shit comes out and their guy, Donald Trump, is shown to be a spy for Russia, I think they're going to be butt hurt in a motherfucker because I think this man and his administration, they got some shit going down with Putin and I cannot wait until our intelligence community puts all this together and then we know the real story. Think about when um, Bush, the one that served uh you know the dumb one god forgive me for calling that man dumb but you know the dumb one took us into war and then you know within a little bit the intelligence agencies found out that they lied that you know that um all this kind of stuff you know they found out shit about him and you know weapons of mass destruction and all that shit they they said all of that was a lie they're gonna find out what it is that trump has going with Putin and we're going to know and I hope this is what I hope and then I'm going to end the video because I've been talking long enough and you know I don't know if I've lost some of you but I hope that when they do this country is not so far gone or we're not in so much trouble that it's hard for the next person that comes in to clean it up because whoever comes after Trump is going to have a lot of work. They're going to have to restore the American people's faith in the presidency because right now, y'all, our country is broken. We got um, protests. First, it was just every weekend. Now, these people are protesting during the week. I'm like, are they going on a lunch break to protest? Because, you know, I would like to pro, you know, stand and some things like I would like to go to one of the senators or, you know, congressman's office and be out there yelling and screaming and stuff. But, you know, during the week, you got shit to do. So are these people taking off to go protest? These people are not playing, y'all. So with that, I know this video was long and I'm going to do these Donald Trump rants. So, you know, I don't care if I got five views on videos like this. I'm going to keep talking about it because there is some person out there that's like me that wants to know what's going on, you know, wants to stay up on it, but we just don't understand everything. And that's why I say I sprinkle black girl magic on it because we got to talk about this in a way that we all understand it because this shit is confusing. It's scary. Because the the thought of a war, hell y'all, I had nephews, and you know, even when I say that, it almost chokes me up. I got nephews that if they like instituted a draft, they're draft age. You know, I don't want my damn nephews fighting for some shit that uh, Donald Trump got us into. I don't want your sons or daughters fighting for some shit that he went out and got America in because his kids ain't fighting shit. You know, his privileged sons are not going anywhere to get their fingernails dirty, y'all. It's going to be our sons doing it. And when I sit here and think about my two nephews that are just really getting started in their families, my son is, I think, too old for draft age, um, but my nephews are not. But the thought of them going off somewhere leaving their families and you know they're just really getting started you know with their their little wives and their babies and stuff and then something happens to one of them oh my god y'all i would be so messed up and then to think of another war and to watch coffins come home draped with with american flags and you know the only thing they say to the person is Thank you for your soldier service to our country. You know what, y'all? Fuck that. 
because my grandfather used to say old men get us in war and it'll be young men fighting you know donald trump is starting stirring up starting a whole bunch of shit not only here in america but all across the world there are countries that are afraid of the instability that's in America right now and they don't know which way to go. They don't know if we're their friend or we're their enemy. When he's taking aim at countries that are our allies, you know, you're you're starting to say what 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 are you trying to do? And then like I said, we going to get through this together, y'all. We're going to you know, I'm going to come on and talk about it every few days, you know, if something new happens and you know, if it's something y'all understand, just say I got something wrong in the video, correct me down in the comment section. Don't feel that I get offended because like I told y'all, I'm learning every day, but I'm going to tell you this, I want to know what's going on. When I was younger, y'all, I, I didn't really, and, and it's sad to say, you know how you like, you watch the news, but you're like, oh, I don't want to hear about all that stuff. But now that I'm older, it scares me and it scares me more for not myself but for like my kids and the generations below me because donald trump could fuck up some shit and they don't live to see my age you know what i mean and that i know y'all can hear it in my voice i'm getting choked up y'all oh i'm getting old shit y'all i'm only 52 years old what the hell but it, it it hurts me because you know, right now, my son has a friend, and, and this is going to be a long video, y'all. Let me just settle in. My son has a friend, and this is why I get choked up. And I remember when they were graduating from school, and my son wanted to go to the Air Force. And it was during, you know, the the war that Bush started. And I was so scared, y'all. This is my, my only son. So, you know, he ran and, you know, did some preliminary things with the Air Force. And I think he took a couple tests and he was progressing through and I could see he was serious. Y'all, I pulled a fast one on him. He came home one day excited, telling me all about, you know, that him and his friend were going to go into the Air Force together. And y'all, what I did, I know it was dirty. I started crying. I threw a, a grown-up temper tantrum. I fell all out on the floor. I was like, oh, Scott, please, please don't leave me. You're my only son. I, it would kill me if something happened to you and blah, blah, blah. And he was so alarmed that I was bust out crying like that. He was like, mom, mom, I won't go. I won't go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then... The reason why I knew my son would not be good for the military is, let me just tell you, one time I had a mouse in the house and I couldn't catch it, couldn't catch it. And I didn't want to get them damn stickums because you know how they just get stuck. They don't die. They're stuck screaming. So one time um, my, my son was like, mom, we got to catch it because you know, if if one is in, you know, it's more in the house. And I was thinking, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Lord. So I let him buy them damn stickums. So what happened is, Lord, exactly what I said. My son was at home and me and my daughter were watching television and we heard this noise. Lord, it was the mouse stuck on the fucking trap, screaming and hollering. Oh my God. So eventually I called my son. I was like, please come home. You got to get this mouse out the house. They've been sitting here screaming for hours. So my son comes home. I tell him, take the motherfucker outside and beat it with a shovel. And then when you kill it, put it in the, you know, in the, in the, in the garbage can. So my son stood there and he looked at me. He was like, well, what happened is he took it outside. Do you know he put a glove on his hand and pulled the mouse off and let him go? And so when I when he came back in the house, I was like, I told you to kill the damn thing. It's only going to come right back in the house. And he was standing there looking at me. He was like, Mom, that mouse didn't do anything to us. He was like, you're scared of it. It just made a mistake and came in the house. So the point that I'm trying to make is if this boy wouldn't beat a mouse with a with a shovel like I told him, to send him on somewhere at 18, 19 to kill people, he wouldn't have been able to do it. My baby would have came back messed up. And let me just tell you what happened. His friend that went to the military, the boy came back all messed up, y'all. He was a bubbly, outgoing young man. 
funny. Him and my son used to get together and crack me up and just, you know, he was fun loving. He came back, y'all, all messed up. Um, he was so, his mind was so messed up. They were giving him all kind of meds. He got addicted to the, the, the medications that they gave him. And in it's in this, he's been back for about five years now. They'll be 30. So he's been back. I think he was in there six years. So he's been out four years. In the four years that this child, this young man has been home, he's been through so much. I've watched him dwindle down to now. When I tell y'all he's a shadow of the person that he was, he will come over with my son and just stand there staring at you. Used to be he would come in laughing, joking, hugging me, asking me if I had food and cracking jokes. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, he stands off quiet and waits until you speak to him. You have to prompt him. He's a shadow of the boy that left here. His mother says she sent away a bright, bubbly young man and she got this shadow. She says she doesn't even know where her son is because what they sent back is not her son. And I know that there are people out there that have to fight for this country, but what I'm saying is don't get us in wars unnecessarily where these boys are sent, you know, off to battle. You know, some of them don't come back. And then the ones that do come back are shadows of who they were. Shadows. My son's friend is all messed up. And every time I see that child and he leaves my house, I, I, I pray for him. I pray for God to send him back some of his cell so he can he can live life do y'all know that he hasn't had he's he'll be 30 years old he hasn't had like a real girlfriend because he can't sustain relationships because he's so messed up now so think about it he left here at 18 he'll be turning 30 this year and his life has been hell for these years i don't want that and I and I think that this man that we have in office now has the potential to to get us in a war with a country that is not playing with us, like you know North Korea or something like that, y'all. I gotta get out of here because I started off this video as informative and you know us keeping track of what's going on with this son of a bitch that we got in the White House, and I'm ending it where I wanna almost cry. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pray and I'm going to keep the faith that, you know, God is watching all this and he won't let stuff go too far left with Donald Trump, that he'll get him out of office before he can do any damage to this country. Because, y'all, this is all we have, you know, if someone comes over here and drops a bomb and, you know, one of our major cities, it would devastate United States. You know what September 11th did. So with that, y'all, I'm going to get out of here and I will see you again in another Black Girl Magic video where we're talking about Donald Trump. We're going to do this every few days, you know, when something major happens throughout his, you know, his term in office. Just bear with me with these, y'all. They're, they're going to be kind of long. But like I said, if I said anything incorrect or you have <clears throat> excuse me, if you have information on something that I talked about and you want to share, feel free. I even thought about doing a Google Hangout where we just talked about it calmly and, you know, talked about our fears and all of that. So if you guys would be interested in me doing a Google Hangout, child, if I can figure out how to do them, because the last one that I did, y'all, it was, it was ridiculous. I couldn't figure out how to do the shit. I ain't got no kids around me. And you know, these kids can be like, oh, mom, do this, that, and the other. So if I can figure out how to do the Google Hangout and you're interested in being in the Google Hangout with me, just let me know and I will try to do one on the weekend. And y'all again with that, I got to get out of here. I know I've talked enough for y'all today, but thank you for hanging with me. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next Donald Trump video. Bye-bye now.